Hello everyone, VTZ32 back with another deck review, and it is an older deck. It is the Iraqi most wanted playing cards. I guess they're not most wanted anymore because they've all been captured or killed, uh, especially that one. <laughs> but let's have a look at them anyways. All right, so this is the Iraqi most wanted playing cards. That uh, was designed to help identify uh, people that were wanted uh, in connection with the Iraqis, obviously during the war, during Desert Storm. One of, you know, the various USB-C decks, or decks that were made by USB-C. Actually, this one I think was by Hoyle. But one of the various decks that's connected to USB-C, or made by them, that was used in a war. The others include the, the Ace of Spades deck, uh, the, the, which is the bicycle <laughs> weapons deck, or whatever it's called. And the... Uh, there's been others, but let's look at this one. There's a couple of different versions of this one out there. This one I got says Iraqi Most Wanted Playing Cards on the front with some camouflage and some stars. There's the United States Playing Card Company, Cincinnati, Ohio on one side, and Iraqi Most Wanted Playing Cards on the other. This is actually the, the USB-C one, but it's from Hoyle. You see the camouflage wraps right around. Oh, ah, almost lost the deck. I don't know why I'm so clumsy sometimes. And, uh... To my cop in the bottom barcode says from the USB-C from Bicycle, and in the back uh, you see some of the cards made in USA, and it says this Bicycle Playing Card Company, the Bicycle Playing Card Company uh, presents this commemorative reproduction of the Iraqi Most Wanted Playing Card deck, first issued by the Defense Intelligence Agency at U.S. Central Command in Iraq in April 2003. This faithful reproduction of the original deck includes all 52 wanted. Iraqi personalities plus the two jokers featuring the famous Hoyle Joker and suitable for all card games. It's got a Hoyle seal on it as well. You can see some trademark stuff on the flap. And then we get to the cards. Uh, the back design is a one way. You get a couple of uh, double backers because why not? <laughs> it's a smooth plastic coat of finish, by the way. And you get a couple of jokers that have the Hoyle uh, Joker logo on there, Joker in the corner. And it lists, this one lists different ranks of the Iraqi military, which is pretty cool. And this one, uh, different uh, Arabian titles. And I think that's cool, nice little information. And then you get to the cards, the Ace of Spades, of course, is Saddam Hussein himself. Al Tikriti. Which is his title and president. And then I go through all the other cards. I'm just gonna show you them. They're all just different pictures of different Iraqis that were wanted. I assume they're all either dead or in prison at this point in time. That one they had no image of, so good job. <laughs> the some that they don't have images of, which is kind of weird. How are you supposed to identify them if there's no image? And I think there's just multiple that are the same. It's like, there's one, there's like 13. There's one for each value, if I recall correctly. Yeah. I think, I could be wrong. Maybe there is 52. <laughs> um, of course, handles all right. It's a four-way fanning deck. Look at that, four-way fanning deck that USB-C made. For the hell of it. Handles all right for what it is. I got this via eBay. Like I said, there's a couple different variations I've seen. I don't know if some of those that I've seen are, or the other one that I've kind of seen, which I've seen one that just has a tuckus that has no rating on it. I believe it's just the design. I wonder if that's like the official deck. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this one is enough. This is one that I, you know, wasn't sure about getting. It doesn't really interest me too much, but I thought it'd be a nice collection piece, nice to have. So I decided to get it. So there it is. Um, I'm not going to rate it. I don't think it really needs a rating. It is what it is. If you like it, you can go check it out. Try to find it on eBay or elsewhere. If you don't like it or you don't want it, that's cool. It's not everyone's cup of tea, that's for sure. But uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think anyway. And we'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.